Boston opened the 2012 season as the reigning Steinfeld Cup champ. The Cannons returned almost their entire roster, making them early favorites to win a second straight title. The change in the offseason came at the coaching rings, when Steve Duffy became the head coach after spending the last three years as an assistant. With the new coach at the helm, Boston got off to a blistering start, rolling through his first three opponents. Good matchup, Rabel scores! Step, feeds Sussman, another crease dive, and another goal! Rabel just bowls his way through the defender. Gets in front, and scores! Bobo Rabel! A one-man wrecking crew! Drives towards the cage, spins and scores! Now Boyle. Feed in front, score! Boyle the post game! The Boston Cannons are 3-0 oh in 2012. Boston's first road test came in week four, when it traveled west to the Mile High City for a duel with the Outlaws. It was a battle of undefeated teams, and a chance for the Cannons to prove that they were still the class of the league. Goes Rabel, and he scores. Paul Rabel doing it all. The win put Boston on top of the MLL standings and made them the only unbeaten squad in the league. They were the team to beat. And analysts thought they were poised and ready for another deep run into championship weekend. Offensively, they're stacked. Defensively, they're stacked. They have a great goaltender who, oh, by the way, was the MVP of the championship game last year. Boston's going to be a tough team to deal with all year long. They're going to get stronger just like a lot of teams in MLL, but they certainly do look like an overall powerhouse. The Cannons would finally get a chink in their armor when they traveled to Rochester, where the Rattlers were waiting to get revenge after an opening day loss. Scores! He's done it again! And a quick shot, stop going, but he recovers in time! The shutdown goal for the sale to the second stop! Lang, works in, Lang, shot, he scores! He scores! And Rochester wins in overtime! There was a bright spot in the loss as Ryan Boyle put his name in the record books and cemented himself as an all-time lacrosse great. Boyle. A pass, a shot, and there's the record! 212 career helpers, the all-time record in Major League Lacrosse history. I don't know that there's ever been a better quarterback in Major League Lacrosse than Ryan Boyle, and now he holds the record all-time for most assists. Yeah, a lacrosse IQ off the charts. This is like having a coach on the field. His ability to diagnose defenses and capitalize on their weaknesses by finding the open man uh, through accuracy, through lob passes, through skip passes, jamming the ball inside. He's got all the, the passes you need. He's got a superior mind. He's like a chess master operating on offense. The overtime loss proved to be more than just a hiccup for the Cannons as they went into a tailspin, losing five of the next seven games, including losses to Long Island twice. The arc goes left, he shoots and scores! Max Seabot, some heat! Chesapeake. Steven Brooks going to the goal with gusto, and he scores. And Denver. Avoids the hit from Alaya. Free, and the rookie scores again! Drew Snyder, a crank! Boston went from being an unstoppable force to a team fighting for a playoff berth. With three weeks remaining in the season, the Cannons were put into a must-win situation where they hosted the first-place Bayhawks. High fires and scores! Pat High with a bullet. He's too dangerous for that. Rebel for two! What does a win like this do for their collective psyche? Well, it saves their season. Uh, you know, th this was their defining mark of their year. If they make a run to, to championship weekend and, and another title, or a loss would have been catastrophic. Boston finished the season with two straight wins against Ohio to propel itself into championship weekend. This time the Cannons fell short of the title, losing to eventual champions Chesapeake in the semifinals. The whole year, Boston was led by its star midfielder Paul Rabel, who broke John Grant Jr.'s single season points record. It was named the 2012 Offensive Player of the Year. Rabel up top, behind the back pass, Poske jumper score! Rush, score! What a diving effort by Rabel on the goal. Has the ball, streaking to his right, shoots and scores! With the core of the team remaining the same, the Cannons looked like a championship threat for years to come. On three Cannons, one, two, three. Yes. Yes.